What's going on? It's another beautiful day for fossil diving in Florida. I'm Zach Franaka, and today I'm on the hunt for these beautiful 40 million year old shark's teeth. They come from an extinct mackerel shark. It's gonna be an awesome trip. Come on with me. How cool is this? You know, I know if you live on the river right now, it's hard because your home could possibly get flooded and get water damage, but if you're just out here to enjoy the day, this high water makes for great exploration because you can get back into areas where you normally can't get to. And the water's crystal clear, which is amazing. of these cypress trees and the crystal clear water. I mean, this is some of my favorite area to explore in North Florida. Wow, this is so clear. I'm starting to see some nice limestone pockets down below. All right, Joe's going in. It looks like your air's on. <laughs> As my first dive begins, I'm seeing large crayfish all over the river bottom. They're like painted miniature lobster. So beautiful. My father showed me this spring fed river when I was a boy. He loved this place and I think of him every time I return. Today is an uncommon opportunity for me to dive the flooded woods, which normally sit high and dry above the river. During my search, I recover many Ice Age bones. Florida's Ice Age ended about 11,000 years ago. I'm always amazed to find these beautifully preserved bones from so long ago. Because the water is so clear in this location, keeping an eye out for alligators is much easier here than in the dark water rivers I hunt. This river is spring fed, which allows the water temperature to remain 72 degrees year round. 
All right, so we just finished tank number one and that was a beautiful dive, but we didn't find a whole lot of fossils. Some neat pieces, but nothing super killer. This where we are right now is a lot darker than our first dive, but we're still gonna get after it and see what we can come up on and what we come up with. Come on with me. As I reach the bottom of the river, I see a beautiful green bottle with purple spots. The purple is algae. Check out the size of this blood-sucking leech. It's the biggest I've ever seen, and it's attached to an old whiskey bottle. I find all kinds of unexpected items when I river dive, including lost phones, watches, and wallets. Florida law prohibits me from removing any man-made object 50 years or older from state waterways, including bottles, unfortunately. This may be the most American thing you see all day. I find a lot of sunglasses, but these take the cake, America. I can see Joe way in the distance. He's hand fanning limestone cracks, hoping to score fossils below the mud. During a fossil dive, I'm constantly on the move until I locate a fossil rich area. It's normal for me to swim the length of a football field during a single dive. If I'm not finding good fossils in an area, I'll keep moving to other locations until I do. All right, what'd you find? I got some swag. <laughs> Those nice, are sweet. Nice shades. And I found somebody's Honda. Oh, somebody had a bad day. Yep. They were stuck. Look at all those bones, man. A lot of it's petrified wood. Really? Yeah. That's ivory. But a lot of this, this is petrified wood. You see that knot in it? Yeah. That's petrified wood. That's a chunk of bone. I see antler. Bone. Yeah. Just scraps of stuff. Nothing nothing crazy. I got a little copper light. That's, oh, that's a little neat. copper light. That's a little turd. Let me see that. A little poop. That's really cool. It almost looked like an inner ear bone. Almost. A little giant armadillo scoot. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. And petrified wood. Very cool. A few little scraps of that. Yeah. Well, that's not bad, man. That's a good group. Better than the first spot. Yeah, but for sure. Here's some of my finds. I found this good portion of a mammoth tooth. Here's a little echinoid. I found an old quarter. Look at that. Pirate treasure. This is a little tortoise spur. And um, this is a really interesting fish vertebra. I'm not sure what species. It's big, though. And then different uh, species of turtle shell. Here's another cool vertebra. And here's a fossil poop. Those are kind of fun. There is another piece of mammoth tooth. So an interesting variety. There's a little deer ankle bone. But I think we're going to look for a spot that may produce bigger and better fossils. As I begin my final dive of the day, I've been on the search for fossil shark's teeth with no luck. I've recovered plenty of Ice Age bones, but haven't found what I'm looking for until now. This is an extinct mackerel shark tooth, but it has ancient damage. So many teeth I find were damaged by the shark while it was alive. Oh, 
All right, here's some of my finds from that last tank. That's a pretty cool glyptodon scoot. And these are giant tortoise foot spurs. Hey Joe, let me see that mackerel shark tooth you just found. Oh, that's a cool tooth. What an incredible fossil. This is exactly what we wanted to find today. I wasn't able to locate a complete example, but that's how fossil hunting goes. You don't always find what you're after, but for me, the hunt is the best part.